Hello everyone! As you know, Australian summer can get really really hot. So, this year I bought some new gadgets to combat the heat. This is a Sony Reno Pocket wearable air conditioner. So let us take a look what's inside and whether it stacks up. So, I've done a road test with this uh, little gadget called Sony Reon Pocket. How does it stack up? And in fact, it was quite interesting in a way that because it doesn't create a, like an air bubble around your, around your body. But you can see that this, there is a um, very uh, silverish, like a metal connector between your skin and the device. So when you put um, the device uh, on behind your back, like this, then it will set up and, and, and start automatically. So you can feel that the, the, the coolness of the, um, of the machine came from this little silver uh, plate thing. And then at the same time, the, the cooling fans will go off um, right at the bottom and at the top. So you'll feel the cool air coming off also from the top and the bottom is to just cool the device while it is working. So I've done that twice now. I have to get out while the sun is out and it's around 29 degrees Celsius. So um, what I feel is that it is a quite interesting experience because you do feel that, that it's regulating your body temperature through this um, silver uh, plate that the machine has on it. And when I have done an, an hour walk both times, when I've done an hour walk under the sun, you can feel that the um, plate temperature adjusts according to your body heat. So you walk around under the sun, you can feel the heat of the sun, but then at the same time, your body from the neck, from behind, on, on, the, on the back of your neck, you actually feel the chill. Chill is like a coolness. In, uh, from coming up from a machine regulating a body temperature. So even though I have walked around uh, um, under the sun for an hour, I didn't sweat a bit. That was quite interesting. So I, I would think that it actually does work, but if you're expecting something like a real air conditioning within a like a indoor environment, that is not how this device works. So um, if you're really interested, I think that um, is actually a good device to use, um, especially when I think I don't know whether it will work in under like um, more high humidity, but because Australia is basically dry heat most of the time, although Sydney this time uh, this year is a bit more humid, but it still works. Um, the last two tries that I did uh, working under the sun, so I hope that um, you might find this very useful. And um, if I have any updates in the future about using this device a bit more, I will let you know. But um, yeah, so it's a kind of an air conditioner, but not really an air conditioner in the traditional way. And I, I still find it quite useful. And well, the other thing is that if your device is not available in your area or in your country, you probably need to download the companion app from a um, app store or, 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 or a Google Play Store that this device is being sold because uh, it is not being sold in Australia at the moment. So I don't know whether it would bring it to Australia, but um, I have to download the, um, the app from at my Hong Kong account in the App Store. So that's one of the other things that you guys need to consider before you actually import this machine. I hope you find this video um, very useful. And if you like this video, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.